Hello folks, this is Mauro and this is my very first vlog video. So at the moment my setup is not the greatest, right? You, you can see it, right? It's not like I don't have the, the highest quality camera, I don't have the, the high the best equipment there is, but I think it's it's a it's it's a good startup point, right? It's uh it is, it is. So so why, what I'm doing here, it's a uh, I'm giving you uh, a step-by-step, -step, rather not really a tutorial, but uh, a demonstration of how I work when I create characters, because that's that's what I do. I'm an artist, um, so I create characters, and uh, you know, uh, working in this case specifically for my um, for my project, which is like uh, uh, for this company that I own. It's called Dark Eyes Games, and I usually work on this on during my spare time and uh, weekends, right? So. Um, yeah, it's like it's like a role-playing kind of fantasy thing. So you know, um, I really hope you you enjoy it. You know, if you do, you know, do all that nice social stuff. You know, uh, thumbs up, uh, subscribe. It really helps. Um, so yeah, I mean, it, I'll try to to post as as often as I can. Uh, and if you have any questions, just just write comments. Yeah, anything that comes in your mind, just just go for it. And uh, I hope you enjoy it. All right, <clears throat> here we go. So, my goal at the moment is trying to get a sort of barbarian mixed with a, uh, I suppose, Celtic thing. So, we kind of be like Scottish Conan, I guess, right? So, yeah, let's let's see. Let's see. Um, first thing, I, I usually start off with um, creating the silhouette of the character. Um, this process doesn't always happens quickly. Like occasionally, you know, you can get it right on the first go, and sometimes you need quite a bit of bit of testing and experimenting until you get it absolutely right. But since I already tried this pose before, I know that it can work if, if it's done right. It's just it's still a tricky pose, so I'll show you what I mean. So it's gonna be quite the big guy. Um, the trick with with this type of character is that you can get it either too muscular or too thin. Um, <coughs> there we go. It's got a, a big upper body. It's always a good thing to have. Smaller head usually. If you wanna give that like impression of power, like a character is actually quite strong, so you're always trying to get it. With the head is always a bit small, you know. Uh, what else? Yes, the and the legs. We, I like it when when the legs feel rather strong and you know quite stable. It makes the character feel more stable, essentially, you know. So yeah. So yeah, I think this the arm here in the back will probably have a the sword will be right here. Um, yeah, it's a bit when when the pose it's like this uh, with with the legs like this type of or like spread this way. Usually, it always makes it look more like it's it's more like menacing, I suppose. Right? It's like yeah, although you, it's really easy to make it look silly at the same time, so you know it's um it's a challenge. It's a challenge trying to make it threatening and not cheesy or silly, you know. Uh, yeah, not always. I mean, usually the, a way you can do this is to make the silhouette really small first, so you can make it really fast and then scale it up. That usually seems to work as well, but. I just wanted to, to give it a first shot, um, just the, the full thing first, you know, just just see if I can get it right on the first go. Sometime I can, sometime I can't, you know. Um, maybe I'm not too far off this time, actually. Um, like I said, I did try to make this character before, but I wasn't too pleased with um, with the the final results, so. I'm trying to redo it and trying to change a few things around, you know. 
By the way, whenever I rotate the canvas, it might really annoy you because it doesn't annoy me that much because I'm just viewing it, but it might annoy you. And when I do that, usually it's always best to just look at, at the top left window so you know exactly what's uh, what I'm doing without feeling nauseous or anything, you know. Yeah, so, so yeah, starting to get there. And one trick you can do usually to see if the card is starting to look weird or what is by flipping it because flipping it usually reveals if there are any issues like glaring issues like in, in immediate but so far seems seems okay so yeah okay I mean I know I'll fix it I'll fix this a million times before we reach the end of it but I'll just uh, just keep on working, you know. I'll just keep on proceed to the next stage, which is adding a bit of uh, lights, just to to see where the light is hitting our character. So it's a good thing. Um, by the way, since there are already quite a few tutorials on how to, you know, shortcuts and and all that on how to use Photoshop, I'm not gonna bog down with the details on how to do things. I mean. If there are any questions, just please ask. But um, this, this, what I'm trying to show here is more like the the process behind it rather than straight on like a tutorial, you know. So, so yeah, it's more like a more like a development, really, journal, you know. So yeah, there we go. Yeah, we're getting this guy quite nice and beefy. There we go. Yeah, how about that? Also, this window, although I place it for your benefit so that you wouldn't be s feel sick with me moving the canvas all over the place, it's also really good for me to see um, on a without having to zoom in and out and see if my character overall looks fine or not. You know, it's actually a really good way of also of checking if something is, if you're not doing something right, essentially, with your character. Um, yeah. So a bit of light on the legs, the knee. There we go. Not too bad, not too bad. Um, yeah. The calves, lights that goes over the feet. So yeah, I mean, for the inspiration, I'm thinking, I'm thinking Conan, right? But I don't want to go too too eighty, too retro. You know, I'm trying to make it look a bit more like it's. Um, it has like you could have like a believable like sort of um, connection to our own world if if it's portrayed nowadays. You know wouldn't be too like a high power fantasy type of character in fact um, these guys are actually um, part of the world that I'm trying to create for my next project um, quite interesting actually these guys are meant to be um, this giant people like not like proper giant just like bigger than the average human but uh, the story, as far as far as I have it down so far, is that these guys used to um, used to be uh, at one point just one type of people. They used to be just just these big guys, and then over time, uh, something happened in the past. Something I'm, I'm I'm not sure if I still have have it everything like uh, nailed down on like a you know. Nothing, nothing for sure. But the idea is that uh, at one point in time, uh, the two main brothers of sort of like the chief tribe, at least so goes the legend, right? Uh, they uh, they were they didn't like what I mean. They were always trying to do to outdo one another. So they yeah they were like brothers and they were trying to outdo one another. You know who was always the stronger, who was always the the fastest and all that. So they were they're very competitive. So. This story is actually split in two in two versions. One is the side of these guys, like what they believe that happened, and and the other side, it's this from the point of view of the people which resulted as as a as a sort of like the um, um, shall we say the um, 
the result of the tragedy that happened, which is basically it's like, so from this guy's point of view, um, the with the brother, he got he got drunk one night and he did something pretty nasty to one of the the shrines, and as punishment for this, um, their divinity, their god or whatever is gonna be, punished the brother and basically turned him into a smaller being. So imagine like this mountain of a man being forced to become small and and you know like. Uh, um, stunted essentially you know like um, um, almost half the size really so kind of like a dwarf essentially right so and that's that as far as as far as these guys are concerned this was a punishment for um, like a blasphemous blasphemous sort of conduit like not being not being right with uh, you know with their with their god and all that but from the other guy's point of view, They've been cheated. They they were cursed more like by by the big brother or rather by the other brother, the, the one that's, that hasn't shrunk yet. So um, so in a way to sort of outdo him. So you know, and for many many centuries, they basically all the descendants uh, they split apart and they really hated one another. You know, so you have these sort of two Nordic tribes. They kind of resembles a bit between Scottish and Vikings, I guess, and. Uh, with a bit of hint of, bar of, of uh, uh, barbarian in them, so over time they, um, yeah, they just you know uh, pretty much battled one another like more, much more seriously than it used to before. So, and that's uh, that's pretty much the gist of it. Although I didn't really, I should have probably done a better job of telling the story. It's sometimes it's it's hard to concentrate on on drawing while talking at the same time, you know. Um, you know, I'm still quite new at this whole, you know, recording myself while I'm drawing thing. In, in fact, this the microphone in front of me is not it's not really the uh, the easiest. Uh, it's not really in the easiest place I could have it really. Um, but oh well, you know. If you have any advice, you know how to make it how to make it better for myself next time, or you know, if you have any comments at all about it, just just let me know. Just post it down. Let me know. We'll see. Like a, like a, like I wanted to say is that I'm just doing this for fun, really. I'm not trying to um, to turn it into anything too um, grandiose, you know. I'm just trying to um, to see how much I can record my work, share it, kind of like a journal, right, of uh, of my progress with uh, with my next project. So yeah, and yeah, so we kind of. <clears throat> got the gist of this guy so far, right? It's not too, not too bad, not too shabby. Um, but there's definitely something not right with him. I don't know what it is yet. Uh, I think, yeah, I think it's something to do with this, with this pose. What I'm gonna do? I'm gonna use the liquify tool. So it's a good way of quickly uh, changing what you're doing, essentially. So we're just gonna put his knees a little bit in, bend his knees a little bit inside. Make his file a little bit shorter, and try to make it a bit more menacing. I mean, it's, it's the thing is that his his shoulders <coughs> should be more up. Um, yeah, something maybe something like that. I don't know. Probably, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, there we go. So yeah, I'm just gonna. Uh, Copy that so I can continue with a backup for myself. I wish every so often I sort of create layers, backup layers. You know, it's it's a handy thing to do when you're drawing. Um, yeah. In case you were wondering, why am I drawing this guy naked? Well, it's actually easier to put clothes on. You know, when you can, when you know what what's the shape, shapes beneath his body. You know, it's it's a lot easier. So yeah, I always I always start off with my guys. Always try to make them a bit naked, uh, just to to draw the musculature of him. It's one hell of a word, isn't it? Musculature. Yeah. Uh, 
Uh, yeah. There is actually um, a guy I like to watch sometimes. He's uh, he's funny. He does a uh, he's done some board game reviews. It's called the Bard, and it's just saying musculature makes me think of him. I don't know why. Just just because I guess he says it, and he says it in a really funny way. But nobody else says it like he does, so I probably shouldn't try to say it, or at least not with the intent of sounding like him. Yeah, okay. Maybe it's time now to put some clothes at least on him. So what I'm thinking of is um Yeah, I'm gonna go with the first like like kind of like a kilt since like I said it's like it's a bit Scottish um, sort of Scottish roots, right? So we're just gonna put something that resembles a bit of a kilt, but not quite, you know, it's a kilt that it's I suppose it's open here at the edges, so you know, it reveals a bit of the leg, you know, because because we want to make it look like, you know, it's uh, still a bit uh, barbarous, I guess, you know, and, you know, he, he enjoys to show off his own powerful body, you know. So, yeah, there we go. We got, uh, we got something. It's a bit more decent now, isn't it? Um, what next? Um, yeah. I think... Uh, uh, Draw a bit his sword. His sword. Uh, yeah, something like that. Just, just quickly for now. Yeah, I actually wonder how many parts will I need to finish this because I said to myself I would do it in, in short half an hour bursts, but I really wonder how long that would take me because usually. Um, when I work, I just let my mind go, and it can be end up being pretty late by the time I'm done, you know. And you just don't feel the time passing. It's just like I don't know. It's like playing a game, right? You're just having fun. Um, so yeah, this is fun. It's a lot of fun for me, you know. It's um, drawing is a nice way usually to think about stuff to let the brain go, which is why it's kind of weird to talk to people while you're drawing because. It's like I need to go quite against what I'm usually used to, which is, you know, just listening music, being quiet about it. Yeah. Oh. There you go. Yeah. Some some light on the clothing. Let's let's add add one of those. Um, like something that holds this thing up, like a belt. But this is gonna be a belt that also holds his um, a bit of protection. It's gonna have a bit of protection on him, not just the kilt. It's gonna have like um, something like a mail, a um, bit of ring mail protecting him, something like that. It just covers the side of the body where he fights, right? So if he fights from this side and he receives blows from his side, so most of his defense I would assume would be trying to cover the left side of his body so he can keep himself mobile uh, on, on the other side where the sword is so just gonna add a bit of defense here so something like something like that like um, a bit like um, a built-in ring mail you know uh, I'm just gonna go simple now There you go. And then later we're gonna fill this in with all sort of things like um show you real quick. We're gonna just go, you know, just work on those rings and you know, just to make it look like it's it's like that. And yeah, you can just add a bit of noise now maybe. Just so to just to give myself an idea, you know, what it's gonna look like. Yeah. So I do think that <coughs> maybe I would um, I would do better to not raise my voice too loud. Um, seems like when my voice is quieter, I can think more. So next time, you know, I might uh, I might be quieter. So long as you guys can hear me, obviously. Mm. Yeah, talking to the wall while drawing—it's really weird. 
really weird. Hmm. Okay. How about... Hmm. How long have I been so far? Yeah, yeah, I think... I think we are nearing down maybe uh, a good stop point, like a break point for now. And then, uh, you know, I'll continue another session. For now, I think we're gonna just pause. We're gonna pause right here, okay? And um, continue next time. <laughs>